Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to find the divisor of the given number. So we can call it divisor or we can call it factor as well. So before we jump into the program, let's try to understand what is a divisor or what is a factor of the number. So divisor or factor of the number is a number that divides the integer number perfectly. So consider an example, let's say we have an example number 6. So what are the divisor of number 6? So divisor of number 6, it's a 1, 2, 3 and 6. So these are the number which divides the number 6 perfectly, right? So we can able to divide the number 6 with 1. We can able to divide the number 6 with 2, 3 and 6. Perfect. First of all, let's try to identify the input required in this program. So what is the input required in this program? So definitely we have to take a number as an input, right? So let me just take one number. Let's say integer number is equal to 6. So we have to find out the divisor of this number. So let's try to identify the output. So what we need to print in the output? So definitely we have to print divisor of the given number which is 6, right? So we need to print the output like this. So let's try to focus on the logic now. So how to build the logic? So before we jump into the logic, uh, let's try to understand, let's say we have any number, let's say we have a number 6, right? So how can we find the divisor of the number 6? So first of all, we have to check the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, starting from number 1 to the given number. I have to check, are we getting any number which can divide the number 6, right? So we are checking 1, definitely it's a divisor, right? Two. Can we divide the number 6 with the 2? Yes. So it's a divisor. Can we divide the number 6 with the 3? Yes. It's a divisor. Right. Can we divide the number 6 with the number 4? No. So it's not a divisor. Can we divide the number 6 with the 5? No. So it's not a divisor. Can we divide the number 6 with the 6? Yes. So these are the divisor of the number 6. Right. Take another example. Let's say we have 8. So First of all, we have to generate the number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So first of all, we have to generate the number from 1 to given number, which is 8. So definitely first is the divisor. Can we divide the number 8 with the 2? Yes. So it's a divisor. Can we divide the number 8 with the 3? No. Can we divide the 8 with the 4? Yes. So it's a divisor. Now 5, no. 6, no. 7, no. 8, yes. So these are the divisor of the given number, which is the 1, 2, 4 and 8. So now you can understand the logic. First of all, what is the first step? We have to generate the numbers, right? And you know how to generate the number. We can take a for loop, right? So I can just take the for loop. Uh, let's say for loop integer i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to number, right? And i plus plus. And if I'll try to print the value of i, so definitely in the output, we will get the 1 to 6, right? 1 to whatever given number we have. So if I'll try to run this program, it will give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are actually getting these numbers. Now we don't have to print all the numbers. We just have to print the number which can able to divide this number, right? Which can able to divide the number 6. So we have to apply the filter on this statement. So let me just try to apply the filter or condition if and I will just apply one condition. Uh, if this condition is true, then we have to print this number. Otherwise, we don't have to print it. Now we just have to focus on the condition only. So what is the condition? So condition is if we are getting any number which can able to divide six, right? So we have to write down that if my number six is divisible by any number for divisibility we have to check we are getting the reminder 0 right so if i will divide my number 6 with any number and any number means number from 1 to given number right so it will check number from 1 to 6 you can see here number from 1 to 8 are we finding any number which can able to divide the number 6 so first of all it will be like 6 modulo 1 is it 0 yes it will print 1 6 modulo 2 Reminder is 0, yes, it will print 2. 6 modulo 3, reminder is 0, yes, it will print 3. 6 modulo 4, is it 0, reminder is 0, no. So it will not, so this condition will not be true and it will skip the 4. Again, I++ plus plus, it will be 5. Number modulo 5, reminder 0, no. 
6 modulo 5 is not 0, so it will skip the number 5. Now it's a 6. 6 modulo 6, remainder is 0? Yes, so it will print the number 6. And finally, when i is 7, our for loop will break. So final output will be 1, 2, 3 and 6. So let me just run the program and you will be able to see that 1, 2, 3 and 6. Let me just try with the number 8. So if I'll try to run the program with the number 8, it should print the 1, 2, 4 and 8. Right. Perfect. So we have written the program to find the divisor of the given number. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.